Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn on Twitter. It is time for another book review. Now, as you can see, I'm not holding the book simply because it was a Kindle book again this time round. And you might be asking, well, what's the book, Helen? Of course you know, you, you've read the YouTube description. It's Matt Haig's new book called The Midnight Library. Now, I found out about this book when I saw a tweet from a friend that she was reading the book and I thought, fantastic, I'm going to buy it simply because I've read a couple of Matt Haig's books previously. The two ones, I, the two that I've read was Reasons to Stay Alive and How to Stop Time. Now, I really liked his writing simply because he's opened my eyes to the illness of depression. I don't know much about depression I, and I know many people uh, in my life who have this uh, crippling illness. So reading the work of Matt Haig really put it, put it into context for me about how crippling this disease can be. So when I downloaded uh, the Midnight Library on first reading, I thought, oh, this is actually kind of fiction version of anxiety and depression for someone. And indeed, it, it reads that way initially. But what is the Midnight Library about? Well, it touches on a theme that I have often thought in my life. Well, what if you can go back in time and actually change the choices that you've made in your life? How would your life have turned out if you made different choices at different times of your life? And that is the type of question that this book is about. Specifically, he has the Midnight Library. So between life and, and death, there is this in-between space uh, where there is a library and each book has uh, a different version or a different life of, of yourself. And so we have the protagonist who is Nora. And what happens is Nora is really depressed. Uh, she's highly anxious. She doesn't feel as if her life is going well and she's fearful uh, about a lot of things. Life isn't going well, her, um, her pet has died. There's just, she's overwhelmed with this futility of not wanting to go on. So what she does is she commits suicide and she goes into that kind of space between life and death where she meets Mrs. Elm, a librarian in this midnight library where there's an expansive uh, library with all these books and she has to live through the life in each of these books in a different way. So what happens is, you know, in some, some of her lives, she's a, a researcher. In another life, she's a mother. In another life, she's uh, an Olympic star. So she gets to relive parts of her life differently. And in each life that she has, at any time she feels uncomfortable, she can go back to the library and pick another book and live another life. And as we're reading through um, the Midnight Library, as we're reading through the story, we actually get to see her kind of grow and evolve and find out certain things about herself and find out that in one particular life towards the end, she really likes it and she thinks this is the life, this is where she needs to be. However, she comes across this realisation and I'm not going to actually divulge what that realization is, but it's actually quite charming and I'm not going to say simple, but it's so evident when the message is so evident when you read it. And so this, this book really is a message for all of us that we can have regrets in our life, um, but ultimately we make the choices that we make for whatever reason and that we should actually live our life as it is today and actually accept the choices that we made. So this is the kind of message that I got upon reading it is that, you know, sure, we could pontificate and speculate if we had made different choices. But the thing is, we've made the choice that we have made since then. It's taken us onto a particular journey in our life to this point where we are today. And now it is up to us to decide what choices we make from this point to go forward into and to make our, our next life be in whatever way we want it to be. But we are where we are 
because it is what it is. We are where we are because we made the choices in the past to get to this point. But it is up to us to be ultimately make our life what it is. And we only have one life. So therefore the choices that we make are going to be relevant for the life that we live in today, for now and for the future. So I really enjoyed the Midnight Library and would highly recommend it if you want to read a book that is actually quite light-hearted but brings you with also the realization of what it is that you've done in your life and how not to take things for granted um, in our life too. So thank you for listening again. Let me know if you have read the Midnight Library and uh, look forward to catching up with you at the next book review. Bye for now.